Maybe Artis and I were talking at the half. We haven't seen the first half with both teams, but your guys even more so than them. Man, the turnovers. It was like the players were, you know, trying to out turn over the other. Have you ever seen anything like that? You know what? Uh, I was really good. He came over to me up uh, to smoke the rest. Hey, when you were watching film yesterday in your office, he said this may be one of the most chaotic games ever. I said, when you look up to the height, he said, yes. Every bit of it. He said, when I was in my seat, I could stay still the entire game. And so, when I looked at this, I saw 17 turnovers in the first half. I was like, man, this can't be real. Yeah, you know, kudos to, to South Carolina State. The coach does a great job uh, going to his third season, and he's turning that program around. And so uh, they do a, a, a crazy, impressive style of play. So uh, definitely a great to, to, to play some of our You guys went nine games, the final five minutes of the first half without scoring, and the first four minutes of the second half of the Three points in nine minutes. Where did you find the offense? Well, you know what? We just tried to, to, to give him different looks throughout the course of the game. Mike Flair, uh, you know, he's sitting over there, he does a great job. His offense came in, and he just kept saying to him, Coach, if you don't turn the ball over, and he's getting on the run, we'll have an opportunity to get offense rebound. And right now, we keep turning the ball over. We can't even, can't even get across the offense glass. And so, we just wanted to get around the court in space. We saw that they were hitting the gaps, and so our guys did a great job um, and, and making shots. Zach Gray, Nelson Baker, they had Chris Elliott so How about Chris Arias? I mean, a freshman stepping up, having the onions even to take that three in a one point game with a little over a minute to go. Well, uh, I've been on Chris Arias so much the last few weeks because I know the ability he has. The amount of potential he has, I mean, he has such a great thing, and his father pushes him extremely hard. And so I know I can be a pretty guy, but I know his family's doing him heavy at the end of the game. So uh, just for him to come out and put on for uh, 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 Jacksonville, a place where he's, he was raised and he loves his place so much, it's a, it's a real cool story. It's always great when you win. It's even better when you win a close game and you have to execute down the stretch. One point game in the final couple of moments. And for a team that had turned it over 24 times in the first 30 plus minutes, you guys executed beautifully down the stretch. Yeah, you know what? Like I said, I just wanted to make sure they did a good job taking us out of our base motion offense. And so I had to do a better job just giving these guys space and letting them know where the outlets were going to be. So um, I think we did that. They had a very high level. And I think our guys said, hey, the person, you know, that was having a very good hit, they on the hills. And then a guy like Donovan Rivers comes in and turns the whole complexity of the game with his physicality um, on both ends. You also went zone in the second half when we thought it made a huge difference. When you guys came back and took the lead, it's because you were getting stopped seemingly every time. Yeah, you know what? No, everybody was probably mad at me. My staff, I know they were mad at me. They kept saying, Coach, go get zone, go zone. I said, if we go zone before the half, they're going to make adjustments. I don't want him to be able to make adjustments at halftime. And so, Knowing that we didn't show, he probably thought he was going to stay in there, and we did, we, we, we switched it up from that. But uh, he definitely knew going into this game, we were going to play a lot of time. The only downside, um, when there's a non-contact injury, okay, we all fear the worst. Wheeler, who was brilliant tonight, um, you know, broke the floor there, tried to finish the fast break. Um, just, what do you know? You know what, like, that's my, man, that's my dude. He, uh, Simon Wheeler is such a great dude, man. And for him, to, uh, for him to be injured and know that he has such an impact, the dude shows his character because he wants to sit on the bench and cheer his, his team more and more that he still has an impact. And so, uh, you know, we're going to get his knee looked at tomorrow morning, but at the same time, like, that dude's character the way that he is, those guys, the, the, the resilience you saw, so they want to make sure they win that game for Simon Wheeler. Safe travels, good luck at Virginia Tech next week. Thanks for stopping by. Jordan Mincy.